The Top 10 Dogs for First-Time Owners What makes a dog breed suitable for first-time owners? If your dog is one of the breeds in this list, then they are likely the easiest to keep and amongst the best dogs for first-time owners. Whether you plan for them to be your sole companion, a family guardian, a playmate for your kid, or even a fur baby for you and your partner, taking home your first dog is both exciting and scary. There's plenty to learn regarding housebreaking, feeding routines, grooming exercise, and general canine healthcare. Additional, there's a get-to-know-each-other period where you and your new tail-wagging friend learn each other's personalities and behaviors. It can be an overwhelming experience, and you want to avoid feeling that you can't cope. Fortunately, certain breeds are much easier to manage for first-time owners. While every dog has a different personality, generally the dogs on this list are all relatively predictable when it comes to energy levels, sizes, looks, and grooming needs. So let's look at 10 of the best dogs for first-time owners. Dog number one, the Poodle. This is a very popular and versatile dog breed, and they make excellent companions. The Poodle can adapt quickly to its environment and can do very well in a range of households, even those with children. You will find that this breed comes in three sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. This means you can choose the size that best suits your living situation, which is undeniably handy. All of them are intelligent and respond well to training. In fact, they enjoy it. It is worth noting that poodles are pretty energetic dogs, so they do need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. These little athletes love space to run and burn off their extra energy, so a well-sized fenced-in yard or frequent trips to the dog park will be needed. They also need regular grooming to maintain their curly, continually growing coats. However, they don't actually shed very much, making them almost hypoallergenic and saving you on vacuuming all the time. Poodles are definitely best suited to a single owner or couple, as they can get overwhelmed by a lot of noises and strangers. But you couldn't ask for a more adaptable dog to different kinds of living. Dog number two, the Boxer. At first glance, the Boxer may seem like an odd choice for first-time owners, but this is a robust breed that loves to be with people and has very few grooming needs. If you're looking for a medium to large dog that loves to play, look no further than the Boxer. Though young Boxers can be slightly hyperactive, they are trainable and enjoy attention during training. Once trained and socialized, Boxers can flourish in active households and get along exceptionally well with kids. What's more, because of their dutiful personalities and intelligence, they've been trained to work in canine units with police, as cattle wranglers, as messengers during World War II, and even as guides for those with visual impairments. So with this kind of energy and attention to detail, it's no wonder they thrive with people who enjoy the great outdoors, running, hiking, camping, family outings in the park, and exploring other environments. Additionally, as they are guardians by nature, boxers are protective of their families, especially children making them excellent watchdogs too. A boxer could be the perfect dog for a new owner if they lead a reasonably active lifestyle. Dog number three, the pug. Pugs are a super popular choice for first-time dog owners. This is mainly because of their laid-back personalities, which means they get along well with most people and other pets. Their short coat means they're pretty easy to keep clean, so their grooming requirements are relatively low. Moreover, their small size and low exercise requirements mean that this breed is well-suited to smaller households, although they will still enjoy lots of playtimes and need regular walks outdoors to stay healthy. It's worth noting that pugs are prone to a few health problems like breathing difficulties as well as eye issues. Yet, despite this, Pugs are still easy to take care of and make great companions for those living in apartments and older individuals, as they don't require too much indoor space for activity. We're not necessarily saying pugs are lazy, but they are known to sleep up to 14 hours per day. They also don't bark much, which is good if you have thin walls. Lastly, these dogs get along fantastically with children. They love to make humans laugh, so they will provide plenty of entertainment to any household. Dog number four, the Golden Retriever. This breed is often seen as the quintessential family dog. And for a good reason, they are eager to please. Goldens are not particularly bothered by noise, commotion, or activity, making them very tolerant of children. They also take the more the merrier approach to having other pets around the home. This means that with the proper introductions and training, they can be perfectly trusted to interact in a friendly way with other dogs, cats, rabbits, and other animals. Goldens also make excellent playmates for children of all ages. This medium to large dog is happy, loyal, affectionate, and active. The breed is also intelligent and very adaptable, so they can thrive in most households. They do, however, need pretty regular grooming to keep their coat free of tangles and matting. Additionally, they will need a fair amount of exercise to keep them in good physical condition, as well as prevent boredom. Training is essential, but thankfully for new owners, it's also relatively easy. These dogs love to learn and can be effectively trained to do many things in a short amount of time. For families with a decent amount of space, Golden Retrievers are an outstanding choice. 
If you are interested in all sorts of dogs and want to learn more about other breeds, check out some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Dog number 5. The Whippet Although Whippets were bred for racing and do like to run, for the majority of the time they actually make exceptional house dogs. They are content to hang out in the living room at home, are very quiet and will often spend most of the day sleeping. Of course, a Whippet's ideal living situation includes a securely fenced yard. This means a fence at least 6 feet high because they are incredibly agile. Yet, Whippets can adapt easily to living in apartments, as long as their owners are dedicated to getting them outside for daily walks and exercise. For new owners, Whippets are good pets because they are small enough to be easy to manage while also being low maintenance on the health and grooming front. Their natural attachment to people means they are happiest when kept as house pets as part of the family, and they can get a little anxious if separated for too long. Yet, the breed is also friendly to visitors and good with children, so they suit a lot of households. Dog number 6. The Bichon Frise Smart, affectionate, and undeniably cute, the Bichon Frise could be mistaken for a teddy bear. This breed originated in the islands of the Mediterranean, which could be why they're so easygoing and fun-loving. This breed makes for the perfect companion for families, elderly couples, and everyone in between. This happy-go-lucky little dog is great for families with children or apartment living. Although they look a bit like bouncy cotton balls, they are pretty robust little things that are up for anything and make great all-around companions whether you like to sit at home or stroll in the countryside. Bichons are also relatively easy to train, which is good if you haven't owned a dog before. Moreover, they adapt well to any lifestyle and only really need moderate daily exercise to be happy and healthy. They will need frequent visits to the groomer though, as this breed's curly coat must be trimmed regularly and brushed carefully. But if you are not worried about them looking like little puffballs and want them to have a lower maintenance coat, simply get their hair clipped short to save lots of time and effort. All in all, these dogs are delightful additions to almost anyone's home, even if you're inexperienced. Dog number 7. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Small, dignified, and exceptionally friendly, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is becoming one of the most popular breeds in the world thanks to their ability to fit into almost any living situation. They are sweet, affectionate dogs with a puppy-like appearance, and they have a gentle demeanor. This dog is also attentive and generally quiet. The Cavalier's short legs and medium energy level mean they only need moderate daily exercise to maintain health. Basic training is required and they respond well to it. Also, despite having medium-length coats, these dogs have simple grooming needs. Brushing is enough to avoid tangles in the hair, and a clip every couple of months should keep on top of things. It is worth noting that this type of dog wants to be with you at all times. They will probably even follow you to the bathroom. Yet, this may be a good thing for elderly folks who enjoy constant companionship. In fact, Cavaliers do so well as chilled-out couch dogs that they make brilliant therapy animals for senior homes, hospitals, and hospices. As far as family settings go, this breed is ready for it all, and they will happily play with children all day long. Dog number 8. The Shih Tzu This is a small dog, but one that's big on affection. This ancient Chinese breed is at its happiest when they are spending time with the family, whether that's flopping on the couch next to you watching TV or just playing with the kids. One thing that makes this breed good for new owners is that they don't have a high need for exercise, nor are they prone to excessive barking. Also, their gorgeous coats and lovable faces turn heads everywhere they go and they will delight in the attention. To prevent tangles, you will need to brush their beautiful silky coats a few times each week. But surprisingly, the Shih Tzu sheds very little, so there's not much cleanup involved. But these dogs aren't just easy on the eyes. They are pups that will tug at your heartstrings too. Shih Tzus are very loyal and dish out lots of affection for their owners. They have perfected the lap dog role for over a thousand years. Because of this long history, they are pretty easy to care for in every way. So, they shouldn't cause much stress to new owners. What breed of dog do you think is the best for first-time owners? Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Dog number 9. Labrador Retriever The Lab has been the single most popular breed in the United States for more than 30 straight years. This enormously loyal and loving breed is wonderful with kids, is highly trainable, and is friendly with strangers. Labrador Retrievers are a good breed for first-time dog owners that want to know what they're in for. They tend to do best in an active household where they are free to both run and cuddle. Additionally, labs adapt very well to most environments and form close bonds with their families. This breed is energetic, playful, and intelligent, so they do need households that can provide a good amount of exercise and training. But there's still not much of a challenge to keep happy. Labs adore learning and can be trained to do virtually anything. They also enjoy fetching, running, and napping at any opportunity. What's more, they only have minor grooming needs, like regular brushing to help minimize shedding. 
No matter who you are or what your situation is, it's hard to go wrong by getting a lab. Dog number 10, the Papillon. This is a brilliant, energetic little dog with a unique appearance that has made them a royal favorite for centuries. Don't let this dog's diminutive frame fool you into thinking that they are fragile, high-strung lap dogs. These are happy, friendly, and adaptable little pups that can do very well in a variety of households. Yes, they are gentle and friendly enough to be good companions for seniors and are small enough to make apartment living a breeze. But the Papillon is actually a pretty hardy little dog that does enjoy a somewhat active lifestyle, so they can still suit outdoorsy families. It means this versatile cutie can function equally well as a lap dog and exercise partner. But they are also intelligent and affable enough to live side by side with other animals. Even better, the Papillon gets along with children too. Moreover, this breed is very easy to train. They will pick up commands effortlessly and even with their mid to long coats, they require only moderate grooming. All these attributes make them straightforward to care for and so they are one of the best dog breeds in the world for first-time owners.